back everyone to another episode of Austria where guys we're going to be like conquering Egypt a prospect that usually most people do I mean if you really think about it oh you Egyptians no not Egyptians you unfriendly b uh. You know, if you really, uh, I'm just serious right now, Germany, if you really try to rip any more stuff out of me, you're going to have difficulties because I will not let you have Bavay, because as soon as you guys have Bavay, I have no chance of catching up to you in terms of uh, industrial power-wise. Like, as soon as they get that last little bit, I'm basically done for. Alright, and apparently, it's probably going to take us a lot more soldiers to go conquer these guys, so I'm going to probably go pick up this army right here. And then go use them to go, like, conquer more of this land. Because I really do want to finish up Egypt in a very quick and concise manner. Because this is going to be such a great state to have. And then we have the Suez Canal where we did not build it, but we took it over. So, I think that counts. <laughs> I think that counts. Do you think it counts? I think it counts. Okay, so there's an actual... So they actually do have a decent-sized army over here that could decently deploy, but... Um... Could it actually be a major threat to me and my sovereignty? Probably not. If we're going to really play a game of who's going to conquer who in this, it's probably not. Then They're not going to repel me. It's just, how much time is this battle going to take? I mean, you guys can wager your own. Uh, no, I don't want to injure the jingoist. Yeah, most of, my, most of my people hate anti-military and hate pacifism, so we could do that one. No one likes militancy or pacifism in my country. We hate it. We are not very peaceful people. I mean, if anyone says we are, they're lying. Austria is totally a warlike and destructive people. Well, not destructive, because we do love to destroy things. But they're not us. They're other people. Alright. Get on the ship, and we're going to go send you guys to here. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, we're just slowly conquering all the shores of... Oh, that's rubbish. Oh, I don't... Dang, I hate both of these. I hate plant economy and I hate laissez-faire. Oi, man. And elections are also going on right now, which means some political scandals are probably going to come up. And holy shoot, Germany just formed. Gosh, magish, megan, dangerous, megan. Bam. <laughs> this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Gosh, fragum, fragum, smagum. Okay, who could I live away as a country right now? Scandinavia, Washington, Lithuania, oh gosh dang it. Okay, I missed my chance. I'm just gonna have to shoot. Oh shoot, now we have to be able to deal with a fully Oh no. Oh no. Well at least me and Austria will not be hating each other anymore. That's the good part about this. Is that we basically like each other. Hey, Austria no, they still hate me by a lot. So do you, and so do you. I have basically no friend. Hey, uh, you guys, I know we have... Why do I have a cousin spirit like it? Why do I have a war? Okay, the, the war for unification events are so random, I don't even know what to say. Like, I should not have a war for uni... I should have a war unification against France, and not against... Um... Uh, the other country. Uh, Britain, there we go. Because that just makes no sense. Like, seriously. I should not have that. Okay, and then you guys are going to instantly crush whatever people over there. We're just, we're just casually, what this army is basically doing is just casually crushing all the local armies so that we don't have to deal with them. Because I just, I, I, I want to make this go a little bit quicker, so I'm just trying to crush all the armies. Alright, and yeah, Egypt, you guys are just kind of there. Go right here next. So, yeah, so guys, I did not prevent Germany from forming. That is not a good sign for us. You, if you know me, and if you know Germany, you know this is not going to end well. But at the same time, if we were to somehow beat Germany in one war, damnation. I don't know what that meant, but if we could beat them in one war, we could probably reclaim what we need to to become a big nation again. Okay? But for right now, I'm scared. Hey, at least what I'm hoping is that there's a big, gigantic French dramatic war so I could maybe go in and go destroy Germany. Because Germany is really an annoying nation to deal with. I'm not even going to deny or plead the fifth or anything like that. 
they are really an annoying nation to deal with. Because once they're fully formed, they had this whole entire big industrial boom and have all these like special advantages that only Germany gets to do. Which is all good and fine for being a German, but for not being a German, it stinks! Okay, yeah, you guys go this way then. There are no guards! I don't even know what my people are! Like, what are my people? I should actually look this up! Intervene immediately! Okay, a couple of them are communists, I don't really care. Most of them are, are divine right conservatives. What does conservatism mean in? Inventionism. Good. The biggest problem right now is pro-military, or dominant issues with pro-military, Followed closely by child labor laws. I'll probably get rid of tribal child labor, so don't be worried, guys. I know I know my country's best interests, and I honestly will not use children publicly for work. Now, in the back alleys, I can't really say anything about that because that's really your own choice. If they want to do that, they can do that. But publicly, I will condone it. Publicly. <laughs> oh man. So we're gonna go conquer the dumb yacht. Dumb yacht? Is it dumb yacht or dim? Uh, that that probably pronouncing this so wrong. You know, this is probably the biggest thing about playing paradox games. It's probably the pronunciation because you have so many like big. You have so many people who go just hysterical if you do not pronounce the names right of their places. They'll be like, no, it's pronounced this way and it's pronounced that way and it's pronounced this that this that this that this that. And you're like, ah, that's that's. Or you'll be like, what? Like, and then some of them are just like sometimes unreasonable too about it. They're just like, yeah, you should always pronounce it right because it's my home country. Uh, well, sorry to say this, but all countries are important and all provinces are important. But like, I I'm kind of an ignorant American and I don't really know much. Like, <laughs> the amount of knowledge I do know is very limited. Let's just say that. Like, honestly. I know how to pronounce very few selective amounts of provinces, and that's usually only because they usually come up in the English dictionary a lot. Serbia, I don't want to add you to my sphere, but are you guys out of Russia's... Dang it, you're still allied with Russia. Dang it, I want to conquer you! Ah, alright. Well, de decrease opinion with... Who else is trying to take you? Alright, no one else is trying to take you. Well, then decrease opinion with the UK! No, with France. Let's do it with France. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, Serbia now hates fans. So, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, actually. I was just kind of, like, jumping around. Let's go straight to Cairo, though. Because we're almost there. Uh, 21. Let's get to 21. I like the 21, but prestige. Yay! Okay. And we're just breaking up more land. Uh, no, I'm quick off. Well, why not? Come on, just, just keep accepting more cultures. If I can just keep accepting more cultures, I'll be happy. And we're almost there to the point of Egypt will just give up and then we own all of Egypt, which is going to be so nice. I can't wait. Once we control the capital, I think that will give us some more benefits we need. Which is surprisingly easier to take the capital than the province right next to it. Makes no sense, but that's the truth right there. It's much easier to conquer that than anything else. Keep going down. Oh man, so... Man, I can't wait to have Egypt! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, this is like this is like a big gigantic new present I'm getting on Christmas. I uh meetings not I don't like that idea. Who would ever like non meetings a lot? I'm a very liberal country. I take offense to that. Surprisingly in this game, oh yeah, I, surprisingly in this game, yes, I am a very liberal country. That is not me just just pulling that out of my like hands. I really am a liberal country, so I really do appall the idea of of a censorship of speech of any sorts. And then, you guys, I have so many ships, okay, you guys, go right here, combine, we're gonna make a big, gigantic army, combine all the ships, there's three, there should be three, sh three new steamer ships being built, well, why not, so, we have 28 right now, and there we go, and the reason why I wanted to kind of create new steamer ships, because I kind of needed a new army over here, or a good, good new army over here, because I'm probably gonna stick some soldiers over here in my Singapore provinces, because while I was off screen, I kind of noticed something else, guys. Look at this! Formosa finally became de independent or independent, so we're gonna go conquer it. Like the good, like the good Europeans we are, we see land that's conquerable and we conquer it. Yeah. Okay. Let's go right here. Let's go down here. 
Just keep conquering. Are you guys about done? Egypt, are, are you guys about done? No. They, they're not going to accept the full annexation of their land yet. They're, they're really they're really thinking they have a chance right now. I I applaud their bravery in a lot of sense, but they really got to know when, when they're beat. I mean, seriously, this war is just going to drag on. In fact, I could just put on full speed and I don't really, like, mind that much. There we go. Alright, and then over here, we have provinces building up. Oh my goodness, it's it's such a beautiful side, my country. I did allow annexation. You guys, thank you! You finished just in time! Wow, Egypt, you guys finished just in time. Good. Alright, Serbia, we just got more influence over them again. By the way, how's our influence in Brazil going? It's pretty much, we're getting stopped at every turn. That's not good. Okay, Bandy, I don't even know. Is anyone even working on these guys? Because I, I just want to keep messing over France. <laughs> if I can. Yes, now they're hostile. I, I, there was no practical benefit to that, except just the sheer enjoyment. Okay, over here, though, we are collapsing a little bit in terms of money. Mostly, where we really, where is it really costing us? It's actually our industrial, some, okay, that iron factory is just way too costly. I mean, there are a couple factories, actually, that are really costly. Let's see, that iron, that, I mean, but specifically, that iron factory, that's just a thousand Bohemia. It's a Bohemia. So, Bohemia, Bohemia, I probably would have better if I just dress it like this. Okay, Bohemia. Yeah, you aren't even making me money. I'm not paying a thousand bucks for you, dude. Okay, I know that's probably gonna that's probably gonna cost my uh, gunpowder industry a little bit, because they probably rely on the uh, buyers of the other markets. But I don't. Hmm. Uh, probably gonna have to tax my way out of this. I don't. I don't want to say tariff because then a lot of people will get all hyper and be like, "Oh, he's gonna tariff his way out of this." But no, I think I just need to tax my way out of this. There we go. Stock market twenty percent liberal. We're fine with that. I think. How much of my liberals? Yeah, there aren't really much liberals in power, and not many of my political ideologies are liberal. I like both of those things, and I still don't have enough to go and do the event I need to do. And so, yeah, that makes me kind of sad. But let's go send our soldiers right over there, and we can actually start improving this land. And I literally mean improving because we're going to be like upgrading everything. We now own the Suez Canal, everyone! Woohoo! So that's really good. And we're just going to be casually. Let me make sure. I think I got all the regions. Oh, wait, except for this one right here. Let's go. Yep, got all. Wait. Forgot a region. Go upgrade. Uh, Alexandria is the head region over here. Go upgrade. Uh, go upgrade. And then you guys don't have a head region. I'm just making making some expansions. Expansions. Yeah, you guys upgrade, and there we go. Now look at that. Basically, I'm plotting out where I want my land, and it's all going to be over here. So France, you better make sure you guys are all protected, because we probably will go to war here soon. Just saying. Just saying. But before that, let me go get my empire all together, or... All in one good centralized place. America, you want an alliance again? I didn't even know we canceled our alliance. Huh. I didn't even know that. So, yeah, we could totally be friends, America. Like, totally be friends. Yay! Prestige from the Suez Canal! Huzzah! I now get prestige for having the Suez Canal. Never actually built it, but I totally get prestige for it. So, we're going to go send... I think that army is going to be the army that's probably going to stay over here in the... My, I'm gonna soon call my, uh, my Atlantic holdings, I should say. We have some Austrian-Hungarian, uh, chains. Oh, wow. Yeah, distribute the, for the food among the poor. I mean, really? How poor, how lazy, or not lazy, how cheap and, oh, I should probably get this. Yeah, pharmogenic and heretics is really important. Okay, you guys, okay. Okay, yeah, you guys, you guys will be down here. It seems like, it seems like I'm probably not going to go to Germany, so I'm probably just going to spread my soldiers around. Yeah, and then you guys could probably stay over here in this area to try to protect this area. Yeah. Alright, we make concessions, and wait a minute, we just, I think we just upgraded our, our soldiers, I mean our factories, not our factories. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, we get our, we get to do all the new land forts. Oh sweet, I love upgrading our land forts because we have such a good land 
I mean, literally, our land is terrible to march through. Like, every time a country tries to get us, they get so bogged down in our country. Like, seriously, look at our country. Our country is literally like a death trap when it comes to, like, bogging down. And I have so much money. Like, look how much money I have. Dang. And just with all this upgrading, just we're all going to upgrade it. We're just going to upgrade everything. All right. There we go. There's not anything I missed. I missed this one. Yeah, I think I got everything over here. All right. Now we move over here to Tuznia. Start upgrading the forts over here. Move over here. All right. Now move over here to Africa. Upgrade all the stuff in Africa. Because I can't. Well, mostly because I can. Is that still ours? Yes. Doom. Boom. Boom. I should not I should not be able to upgrade anything that is not mine, so that's good newt. Okay, and this is also mine because I knew that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, my <laughs> my colonial provisions are also going to be terrible to march through. Basically, everything about my land is going to be terrible to march through. It's going to be a very insightful land, I should say. You're going, you're just basically going to have a fun time down there. Alright, there we go. Do we upgrade, do we upgrade down here? There we go. Voila. More upgrading, probably is going to go down a little bit. But I should have a major, Oh, liberals are starting to take more power. I don't like that. The Suez, yay, we get money. For free! For free! Yep, for free. Apparently... Oh, did Germany win a war? Yeah, Germany won a war. Shoot. Germany's always starting to become that big, gigantic giant. Well, let's see. Ah, don't! Don't mobilize! Don't mobilize! Don't you dare listen to me, soldiers. Okay, let's start making some more soldiers from our places. Let's see if we can start actually getting some decent armories going. And I can't seize power right now because I don't actually have the power to do that. That's the one bad thing about switching to a liberal government was the fact I had to share my power. Which I don't like, generally. I don't like sharing my power. Hey! Uh, yeah. I was about to say, you guys should get right on to disquishing all these rebels. Because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it looks like I control most of the Balkans, which is good. Germany controls most of the Europe, which is not good. They're going to be scary now to deal with. I almost feel like I should do the Dan Dubarian Federation thing, but I feel like I will fail if I do that. Uh, my soldiers are rapidly skidding on to go into the new Master's Land, and this is going to be intense colonization right here. This is probably where my war with... with, uh the French are gonna happen. It's probably some- one of these colonies is probably going to- Yay! Population over 100 million! Huzzah! Yay! Okay, and I still got Serbia. Can I make you guys not do an alliance with someone? Like, seriously. I want to- You know what? Decrease opinion of Italy. They're also my enemies. Wait, I just realized- All my- All these people right next to me hate me. Except Germany. Germany's really liking me for some reason. Hmm. You know, I could probably use that to my advantage while we're still friends. So while we're still friends, I could probably use them to go break up the rest of the people. And probably Russia. Hmm. I like that idea. If you guys keep increasing relationships with me, because I know... I know neighbors at peace. Wait, do I get the bonus with these guys? No. Do I get the bonus with these guys? Yes. It's just, they just hate me so much that so they don't want to acknowledge it. That we are actually good friends. Alright, so, I have my soldiers over here, we're going to go send them to the island, and we're going to go invade our good friends of Formosa. Hey Formosa, time to become our, our good old fashioned colony. And from there, what we basically got guys, is a good, is a good spot, mm, no, let's, consciousness, I could probably get consciousness in the middle class, I don't want to make the poor mad. The poor I'm already taxing more than I want to be, and they don't realize it. <laughs> At least I hope they don't. Let me, let me decrease that while I'm thinking about it. Because if they realize how much I tax them, they'll be pretty bad. And I don't really want to deal with all, all right revolutions right now. I really don't. So just stay the way you are, poor, a little bit ignorant and a little bit negligent, and I will be very happy. 
And I am, of course, guys, referring to my poor, the poor in this game and not real life. And I'd love to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ba-boom!